Welcome back. Well, Tom Fergus is checking out Barnwood Trend in, uh, in home decor. Tommy, this is up right up your alley, buddy. I know how you love to renovate your house. <laughs> yeah, and I always have gloves, <laughs> even with ones with holes in them, because if you want to collect splinters, this is the place to do. We're at Coast to Coast Barnwood, and look what I have with me. Jamie Rose, he's the owner, he's the big guy around here. Not, I, I gotta just break everything down. He's an East Coast guy, Yankees, Giants fan, but we'll let that slide. Jamie, thanks for having us, man. Anytime, thanks, Tom. Hey, this is really cool. Explain to everybody what we're looking at when it comes to the reused wood. Where are you getting this stuff? Uh, East Coast, Kentucky, Tennessee, the tobacco barn areas of that part of the country, early Civil War, early settler barns comes from a supplier. These are kind of samples as to what we offer and how you can do certain products. You were explaining to me that, you know, you'd see a board like this, you'd get it from a barn, but look at how thin it is. What are you doing here? We resaw it. We use both sides of the wood. So we're recyclers, we're repurposers, and we like to be able to use both sides. So we split the wood, that way we don't lose a piece or a color. Yeah. You get all the options that the wood you offers. You get twice as much. Absolutely. I love your mantles. People Thanks. must be grooving on this. This thing's kind of knotty. You think yeah. it might be nasty, but it actually adds so much character, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It's an old veneer that was put on a barn, again, in the 1600s. So it's, it's, it's ancient and old. Yeah. You know First your wood up. when you're looking at it. This one yeah. struck me as really cool. What's going on here? Did they fill this in? What is this? Yeah, that's epoxy. It's a epoxy resin. Uh, it's actually Pecky Cypress from Florida. We have another store in Clearwater, Florida. The okay. wood came out of there. It's a special type of wood. It's so cool. It you put that blue in there and yeah. then you get a whole bunch of pieces of yeah. that. What yep. are these other pieces we're looking at? Uh, you're looking at an old growth ch first generation cherry. This was found in a barn unused as well as this black walnut, first generation black walnut your traditional red, yeah. and again, as we discussed, red and brown. That's why the resawn came into you play. You split it apart why? and you get a little bit of both. Why Over here's that? your sample wall. When people come sure. in and they want to look at the different types of wood, yep. these are four quadrants. Explain to everybody what they're looking at when they get over here. That's our raw wood. So that's taking our raw product and straight lining it, working it with yourself and putting it up. It gives yeah, a completely unique raw, look. It's really rough. If you want a splinter, yeah. it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, now, what about this good. one over here? This is the brown resin up here. In the that's corner. our brown resawn. So we take our wood and we take brown interior wood and we resaw it. It has little grays and little, a little smoother. It is smoother. It's a little, it's DIY. It's easy to work with. It's comb owner friendly. Here's your brown and gray mix if they ask for this. Yeah, that's yeah. our mix. That's Classic. our popular mix. We, we mix our gray and brown together and then gray is the most popular color out there right now in home remodeling and trending. So yeah, that's. let everybody know where you're at. Where are we located again? Uh, 101 in Grand, right off the uh, 101, uh, the Grand exit on 101. Make a right, right there in Peoria on, the, on Grand Avenue. Wow, Very that's cool. So Very cool. Coast to coast. Coming up in a little bit, we'll tell you about their door kits. You want to get a really cool looking door that's oh made with goodness. barn wood, recycled barn wood. Yes. This is where you'll get it, you guys. Oh, I can't wait to see that, Tom. Thank you. Welcome back to AZAM. I love this concept, Tom. You know, we, uh, my family, we rented, we went to Sacramento one time and we rented a, a home uh, just for the weekend. And they had done the whole inside because, you know, the guy, it was like an Airbnb guy and he was all proud of it. And he walked us through it and said, oh, this is all barnwood and this is barnwood. And it does, it looks so neat. And there's history in yeah. your home when you put this stuff up. Absolutely, Troy. And you know, the thing about it is that they have these barn door kits starting at 300 bucks. So you can put this wood on there and they just sell it as a kit. So we're going to talk to Jamie Rose. He's the owner of this. Jamie, how does this work? Like if I could buy just a generic door to hang sure. up, but then I put this over it, right? Show sure. us what you got there. Well, again, we're repurposers. So you can buy an old door, get your door painted, and we sell, we sell you the kit. And it's simple. You cut it. Yes to size, install it, couple of nails, and off you go. And then you have just a beautiful door just like this. Yep. Jamie, we talked about how you took oh, one yeah. board and got three pieces of wood out of it. Explain to everybody how you split it up. Well, you get both sides of the wood, which is beautiful. And unfortunately, if you buy our wood, you only get one side. So we decided to split it, use both colors, and then you get a beautiful That's center beautiful. color. Beautiful. Let's yeah. head out to Jamie. Our viewers are totally grooving on this story. <laughs> you won an award. Tell everybody about it. Oh, yeah. Best of the Valley 2020 uh, Phoenix Magazine. Uh, are thankful to all of our uh, customers. It was we were voted uh, best repurposing store. This is cool here too. And again, history all over the place. Yeah. You're almost like a pawn shop owner. You start to <laughs> learn about everything in your shop. What yeah. are you looking at here? Uh, what you've got is our mantles and beams. It's one of our biggest sellers. Uh, anything from circle saw marks, which are old water mills, to hand hewn beams. These were made by hand by early settlers with axes and chop saws. That's really cool. Yeah. As we walk down here, tell everybody where you're at. Uh, 9123 West Grand, right off the 101 and Grand uh, in Peoria. Yeah, just yeah. 
Just uh, when you get off the ground, if you're heading north, just take a right. You're make just, a right. You're on the east side. Literally. I love your shorts. Yeah. Real quick, people can use these to do doors and just little spots. Doors, shelves, anything. These are our shorts. Anything that comes in less than five feet gets palleted up, and we get these little shorts. They're great projects. They fit in your car, so you don't have to bring your truck. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you so go. So it's nice to be able to pick stuff Jamie like that. Jamie Rose, such Thanks. a pleasure to meet you, man. Thanks, buddy. Really Appreciate cool it, Tom. Coast Thank Coast you. Barnwood. They got another place in Florida. And they got this piece of American chestnut if anybody out there needs to take care of the bad guys. Like oh, I like that. Closer. Take a good cut with that thing. Yeah. I think that's just All so right, neat. Make a baseball bat up. Yeah.